<clears throat> these lessons come as a part of my software called the Flash Brain Anatomy. You can go down there. I put the link down there in the description. You can purchase the software and watch the full, uh, <clears throat> a full compilation of my lessons. After it exits the insula, it spreads all over the place. Like it supplies the frontal lobe, it supplies the parietal lobe, and the temporal lobe. However, we can easily uh, join all. We, we can group these arteries in two groups: the inferior ones and the superior ones. The, the so the ones that. Uh, go downwards and supply the temporal lobe are the inferior ones okay so so here I will illustrate the first branch is called the anterior temporal branch okay then we have the middle temporal branch it goes something like this we have the posterior temporal branch okay and we also have the parietal occipital branch so those were the inferior ones we have the uh, anter anterior uh, temporal branch we have the middle temporal branch posterior temporal branch and the parietal occipital branch okay so then there is also a, an artery of the angular gyrus here branch of the angular gyrus angular gyrus branch and we also have the anterior parietal artery here this was the anterior parietal artery okay these lessons come as a part of my software called the Flash Brain Anatomy. You can go down there. I put the link down there in the description. You can purchase the software and watch the full, uh, <clears throat> full compilation of my lessons. Then there is an artery of the post central sulcus. Okay, here in the post central sulcus. This was the central sulcus. Okay, and this is the post central sulcus. Then comes the artery of the central sulcus here and the artery of the precentral sulcus. So this was the precentral sulcus where the artery goes right now. Past central sulcus artery here. We had the artery of the central sulcus and the artery of the precentral sulcus. Then comes the prefrontal artery. So I'm over here. And then we have the lateral frontal basal artery then we have the anterior cerebral artery okay it looks something like this I will paint it in purple color and here is the anterior communicating artery that connects these two anterior cerebral arteries remember this was the posterior communicating arteries and this one over here is the anterior communicating artery <clears throat> these lessons come as a part of my software called the flash brain anatomy you can go down there I put the link down there in the description you can purchase the software and watch the full uh, <clears throat> full compilation of my lessons okay. now I will show you how these anterior arteries supply this part of the brain here and I will illustrate each branch in each artery. The anterior the cerebral artery goes here and when it reaches here it separates into pericolossal artery that goes here around the corpus callosum called the colossal marginal artery that goes here around the singular gyrus and up there it gives here this part is called the cingulate branch the pericolossal artery gives the paracentral branch here and the paracuneal branch here 
Now before the anterior cerebral artery separated here, we had the medial frontal basal artery here and just remember that this was the lateral frontal basal artery and if we go from the medial point of view and look at the frontal lobe we will see the medial frontal basal artery then there was the polar frontal artery and then as I said there is a frontal anteromedial branch and then comes the frontal intermedio medial branch and then we have the frontal posteromedial branch here as I said before this was the cingulate branch <clears throat> these lessons come as a part of my software called the flash brain anatomy you can go down there I put the link down there in the description you can purchase the software and watch the full uh, <clears throat> full compilation of my lessons so there you go I just explained you how the brain is supplied with blood so we have the blood coming from the internal carotid artery here and supplying mostly this part of the brain where this anterior cerebral artery goes and it also supplies the lateral side of the brain where the middle cerebral artery goes. We had the two vertebral arteries coming through the foramen magnum uh, joining to joining to a basilar artery and then supplying the posterior cerebral artery and that is this one over here <clears throat> these lessons come as a part of my software called the flash brain anatomy you can go down there I put the link down there in the description you can purchase the software and watch the full uh, <clears throat> full compilation of my lessons it also includes interactive 3D anatomy and all the resources you need to learn a complete narrow anatomy without reading a single page from book. Thank you for watching this video. Please check out my website and purchase the software or at least like, subscribe or comment.